Hey there, my people. Welcome to my channel where we dive into the exciting world of music production in Logic Pro X. In today's episode, I'm mashing up R&B and Afro beats, and I really think y'all are going to love this one. So let's waste no more time. Let's dive straight into it. All right. All right. First things first, let's pull up the e-piano and make a melody that goes a little something like this. When I first got this piano, the tremolo was off, the phaser was off, and the chorus was off. So I'm going to play it in its raw state and then turn on the chorus, phaser, and tremolo. So this is it in its raw state. So first, let me turn on, I think, let's start with the tremolo because it makes the most difference in my opinion. So the reason why I'm going through this is because I want to show you guys how I go about creating an emotion because in its raw state, you can hear it's pretty dry, right? But then we have the chorus and we have the phaser and the tremolo. And with those tools, we can create some sort of emotion. I want to have the sound have a sort of character to it. So I kind of want it to go in and out, like to sort of have a wavy vibe to it because it's R&B, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, that's bad, but you'll get what I mean. Let me turn the tremolo on all the way to its full intensity so you can hear exactly what it's doing. Without it, I like it like that. And now the chorus. I gotta be honest, some of these things I don't fully know how they work, like the chorus. I just I just played by ear really like turn the intensity up to the max and dial it back until I feel something that I like. I like that. I like that. I think about there is good. Yeah, 80%. That's good. And now let's bring in the phaser. That's perfect. That is perfect. You feel that, right? You feel the emotion. You feel the vibe. Like, that is just sick. God damn. Okay, anyway, let's get it. Let me play it again. Oof. 
beautiful. All right, so what I like to do from this point, now that we've got a groove going, it sounds amazing. Uh, what we're gonna do is just copy the same exact melody and put it on a different instrument, like a pad or something, and just try and give it more of a vibe as well. So in this case, what I found was this, uh, uh, the retro synth. And I just copied over the melody onto the retro synth and then it sounds like this. Obviously it didn't sound like that when I first um, opened it. I think if I remember correctly, the, uh, the LFO was off so it was something like this and the glide was also off so if i try and go back to its initial state and also the uh the amp envelope was also the attack was all the way at the beginning was off it was really fast attack so it sounded something like this initially <laughs> Not nice, right? That sounds bad. And so I think the first thing I did was mess with the attack. I just increased it a bit, something something like this. I know it sounds bad, but let me turn on the LFO. That That's really what fixed it for me. You see, you see what tweaking these knobs do? Like, just tweak them. Like, I don't know what most of these things mean, but I know, like, what the attack means. I know that with a long attack, the sound is going to ease in. And with a quick attack, it's going to be immediate. And with the LFOs, I know that, honestly, I don't know. I just know it does something and it sounds good. That's all that matters. <laughs> Anyway, so this is it. And then I wanted a glide. I wanted I wanted there to be like a wham, wham somewhere, uh, especially towards the end of the notes. So I put in a glide, it does something. I just know it. See, when I turned on the glide, you have that wham, uh, uh. Where, uh, uh. You know, I'm trying to create that mood. Like, I don't want it to just be straight. I want it to have like a vibe to it, like a sexiness to it. Where, uh, 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 where. I'm sorry for my singing. But anyway, y'all get the vibe. You know what I mean? So this is what it sounds like now. Come on, I'm, I'm even lost for words. That is just beautiful. Anyway, so now we can combine the two sounds and listen to both of them at the same time and see how they gel. I think that's beautiful. That is just wow it's a mood man it's a mood and now i want to add a bit of low end like something to kind of drive the bottom in fact i'm gonna move this down here like i my organization skills are pretty bad but it gets the job done that's what matters so same so this time i got another retro synth and this time i use the 70s analog lead and all I did was copy this bottom melody. So that note, that note, and that note, and that note. And then pasted it into the synth, which sounds something like if I play a random note, I think it sounds like this. 
Let me turn the octave down. Okay. So on its own, it sounds like this. And then when I combine it with the two sounds that we created, the piano and the pad, it sounds like this. Beautiful. And then, y'all know I love to keep the bass for last, so we're going to keep it for last. Um... I think that was about it. And then we had one other sound that I added, which is this little flute. I'm going to bring it down here. And I, I remember I played it on my little MIDI controller. I think it was something like... I think it was something like, yeah, I did something like that. I just played with the wheel and a note. All right. So let's actually hear what it sounds like on its own, how I played it. So in context, it sounds like this together with the other sounds. Beautiful. And then we go to the drums. Drums are important, but to me, they're secondary. I know to a lot of people, drums are like primary, but to me, they're definitely secondary. I should probably find like a friend, somebody who's really good at drums because I'll be using a lot of loops and just throwing it. In. <laughs> I'll be using a lot of loops and just throwing it on the beat. So, but I do make drums. I do actually like program them anyway. So I found a, I found a nice loop and looper man, you know, free, free loops. I went on looper man and found a free loop and it sounds like this together with all the sounds. Come on. Ooh, 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 that is good. I think I'm going to go ahead and put in that bass. I'm not going to keep y'all waiting. So let's go ahead and put in that bass. It sounds like this. And then, um, let me see. I think there's a little like, like a break thing that I did here. I added some fills, so I'll just like play it so you can hear what that sounds like. And then now this is where the magic happens. Remember I told you at the beginning of the video that I found a vocal, an acapella of a girl on YouTube singing the song. So I had to do a lot of work to it. So it's not like 
perfect, but you know, it helps with the idea that we're going for. Um, so I had to do a lot of uh, flex time to it. As you can see here, I had to do a lot of moving because I didn't know what tempo she sang the song in. But I managed to get it as good as I, you know, as close as I could to the beat. And let me play what it sounds like without everything, just like on its own for now. And then we'll take it from there. Maybe I'll play it with like without the drums, just with the um, piano. So from the beginning, actually. So it sounds like this. I never played no games. I'm gonna give it to you. Just how you want it. You can call me crazy, baby. You just drive me crazy when you touch on it. Actually, let me play it without any like processing like on it so i'm gonna remove all the processing i try to put like pitch correction on it but i think it sounded worst but anyway without anything on it it just sounds like this the idea really is just to get a feel of like what it would sound like if a uh, vocalist had to jump on this beat but it sounds like this without any processing whatsoever it's just raw I never play no games, I'm gonna give it to you Just how you want it You can call me crazy, baby You just drive me crazy When you touch on it Alright, and then I just added a bunch of rent Like, I think I added an EQ Makes it sound a little bit more present and then I had two more EQs just to kind of, you know, give it a telephone vibe. I never and then some reverb and delay. And then I think I'm just going to have the volume pretty low, actually. Just kind of in the background, but kind of in the background, but still giving the vibe. So that's really what matters, I guess. I never play no games. I'm gonna give it to you. Just how you want it. You can call me crazy, baby. You just drive me crazy when you touch on it. Got my legs up, hands up, bad attention. Make me stand up and switch up. That's the beat. That's the beat right there. Oh my gosh. And that's how you do it. Ooh. Man. Anyway, let me play from the beginning.
that's it.